today we are going to see part 2 of user access control using PHP and MySQL we are going to create a database structure there are some prerequisite steps in which you can install XMind application which will help you to plan your database we are going to do planning of a database using mind map and using PHP my admin we are going to create a database table in MySQL now to start with what I will do is I will download that XMind application I will go to my web browser I am using Chrome as my web browser this is Chrome I will go to Google and I will type download XMind XMind for Linux to be specifically because I am using <coughs> Linux operating system I will click on this link it will take, me you, take you to this download page click on Linux 64 bit version and it will start downloading I have already downloaded that file in one of my local folder uh, this is xmind application file click right click on that and open with gdb package manager and install that package clicking on install package will install this package you will be prompted for your password you will have to enter your administrator password and it will continue with I installation this xmind file, uh, file uh, or a package I have just now downloaded and make sure that this is correct and uh, don't download it half means this should be of integrate integrated check should be there it is saying setting up x mind it will rebuild something and ultimately after installation uh, it will be shown like this it will give option to remove package or it will give option to reinstall package that means this xmind package is installed I close this window now I will open xmind xmind is actually a very good mind mapping software and of course it is free for personal use and you can use it to create such databases and to plan such databases I personally like that software because its user interface and uh, using mind map for database creation or database planning or uh, not for database creation actually but database planning uh, is uh, uh, as per my opinion is the best way to do it so this xmind 7.5 is installed I'll click OK and I'll start with a basic map okay let's say I don't want this mm, if I close it then I'll be able to close it because this is that prompt was there on this window I click on blank new map professional create then our first mind map will get created I'll give my topic name as user access control this is how we have installed our xmind and created our file 
I'll give this file name as user access control as it is and I'll, I'll save it in my computer location it will ask me to where I want to save I'll save it in documents so now it is saved this is how we have installed xmind application now we will plan our database using mind map database planning is a crucial step you will have to create objects whichever are there in real world let's say in user access control system you will have to create users I'll click on insert and I'll create users and user will be having some attributes first of all there will be an unique ID I'll call it as ID then its username then first name then last name and anything else email ID and let's say a photo these are some important fields user will be having anything else absolutely a password actually it is not going to be a password but actually it is going to be hashed password we are not going to store user password in plain text format but we are going to store it in encrypted format that is going to be hashed password and a token token is something uh, which we can use for user ID activation and to know whether this user is a valid activated user I will create one more property activation okay so this is our this is going to be our user table next we will create user groups user groups table will have ID unique ID group name that's it user group is not going to have more than this then we will have a table for authorizations means user authorization and one more table first we will not create this authorization table first I will create linkage between this user and user group that is user I'll I am naming it as user and user group connections user and user group connections how those connections will appear first unique ID then user ID then user group ID so here this user group ID is going to be this one this is going to be this one this is the user group ID and this user ID is actually this ID user ID okay so I will now create this user ID
so this is our database structure user and user group just a bit the spelling mistake is there user group uh, let me tell you this is not creating any database this is we are just planning how many columns should be there and what are those columns uh, to be then we will create authorizations table authorization is something for which a user or a user group will be having an authorization so here we will create authorization ID then mm, description or uh, let's say unique description unique code let's say unique code and description so authorization is going to have this id unique code and a description then either user or a user group will have access to a particular authorization or will not have access to a particular authorization so that we will connect using another table that I am calling it user group user authorizations so this table is going to be first unique ID then user or group whether it is user or group user or group ID user or group it is yes or no whether it is user or user group then specifically which user or user group ID is going to have authorization then authorization ID then then whether to grant or not whether to grant and whether to deny this will have whether yes or no deny will also have yes or no so this is our final structure of user access control database so in the next video we will see how we can make this in our database using phpMyAdmin thank you for watching see you next time